So I offer this prayer. Hear, O Israel, the divine abounds everywhere and dwells in everything. The many are one. Loving life and its mysterious source with all our heart and all our spirit, all our senses and strength, we take upon ourselves and into ourselves these promises to care for the earth and those who live upon it, to pursue justice and peace, to love kindness and compassion. We will teach this to our children throughout the passage of the day as we dwell in our homes and as we go on our journeys from the time we rise until we fall asleep. And may our actions be faithful to our words that our children's children may live to know truth and kindness have embraced, peace and justice have kissed, and are one. Something is changing here, and the fundamentalist Judaism that is raising its head here is nothing ancient. This is a very modern phenomenon, and it is attributing to itself, it is borrowing, adapting for itself modern characteristics. This here, political, about sovereignty, and before that, romantic, European romantic uh, characteristics. So what does it mean that fundamentalism is a modern phenomenon? Why is this important to understand? First of all, it's important to understand, to understand that there's nothing ancient about it, there's nothing too authentic about it, of course, it's a modern, it's an authentic modern religious phenomena, but it's not an authentic ancient religious phenomena. It's changing the way all religious is, is changing. But more importantly, we need to understand that fundamentalism is a modern phenomena if you want to deal with it. Because we have to deal with it with modern tools. It is a modern phenomena growing up out of modern needs and modern reaction to <coughs> modern crises and we need to deal with it that way. It's not some ancient monster that just came to the present through some sort of time warp hole. It's something that is developing today out of conditions that are changing today. And this is what I think we should remember. Thank you. <laughs>